I get up and go, got up and left. <laughs> I didn't care. Uh, I was quite comfortable staying at home and doing nothing. Work got done only when it absolutely had to get done. When there were no dishes left in the cupboard and I have a place setting for 16, <laughs> did, I do, did, did I do dishes and I have a dishwasher. The dust bunnies rolled around the floor. Uh, it, it didn't matter, I didn't see it. After diagnosis, it was, again, education and it was making a concerted effort to put one foot in front of the other and go ahead with life. And I had the choice. I could have stayed curled up in that little ball and let Alzheimer's take over my life. Or I could get up and make a move to put things back in my life to put my life back together again because Alzheimer's is not the end of life. It's a stumbling block, but it's certainly not, life doesn't end with Alzheimer's. And making that effort is a real push. You have to be very conscious of it. And I used to, um, I used to reward myself. Um, if there was something that I wanted to eat or have a, have a treat, I would say, okay, you gotta do this first and then you can have it. And that was, that was my own little incentive to, uh, to do that.